In 1962, a gripping film titled Panic in Year Zero hit the screens, depicting a family's struggle to survive amidst chaos. It's a tale of survival, showcasing the lengths people go to when faced with the collapse of society. But did you know there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts about this movie? Keep watching this video to discover them all. Are there any lesser-known facts or anecdotes about this movie that fascinate you? Or perhaps you have a personal story about how it impacted your life. We'd love to hear your cherished memories or experiences related to this film. Share them in the comments below. In Panic in Year Zero, Oscar winner Ray Mullane stars in and directs a post-nuclear drama that follows Harry Baldwin, the patriarch of a family of four, as they embark on a camping trip in the California wilderness. Upon learning of a nuclear strike on Los Angeles, Harry quickly shifts into survival mode, displaying a readiness for ruthless behavior in order to ensure their survival. His wife, Anne, is taken aback by his adaptability to the dire situation. The film focuses primarily on the Baldwin family and their encounters with various individuals amidst the aftermath of the nuclear strike. While it lacks the intense and grim nature of other films in its genre, it remains fairly effective in its storytelling. Melane's direction is marked by efficiency and a no-frills approach, supported by Gilbert Warrington's skilled cinematography. The cast delivers believable performances, including teen idol Frankie Avalon as Harry's son Rick. Despite the commendable efforts of the ensemble, the film is somewhat hampered by a loud and overbearing jazz score by Les Baxter, which detracts from the tension. Noteworthy performances include Mary Mitchell as Melane's daughter and Joan Freeman as a stranger facing similar challenges. Additionally, Richard Bakalian adds amusement as a dangerous punk, leading a group that repeatedly threatens the Baldwin family. Overall, Panic in Year Zero offers a decent viewing experience, though it may not be particularly memorable. Despite its shortcomings, the film's efforts are commendable, earning it a rating of 7 out of 10. Panic in Year Zero is a 1962 movie featuring Richard Bakalian, who formed a lasting friendship with Bobby Darin after appearing in Darin's Pressure Point the same year. Backlian later became a regular on Darren's NBC television variety series. Interestingly, he was among the last individuals to see Darren prior to his demise from heart disease in 1973. Ray Milland, another actor in the film, was originally considered for a role in Trading Places in 1983, which ultimately went to Don Amici. Additionally, Tony Curtis accused Milland of holding anti-Semitic views in his autobiography published in 2008. This movie, Panic in Year Zero, not only showcases the talents of its cast, but also highlights the personal connections and controversies surrounding them, adding depth to its narrative. Panic in Year Zero is a film released in 1962. Jean Hagen, the actress in the movie, had her first child, a daughter named Christine Patricia Sadel, when she was 27 years old. The father of the child was her later ex-husband, Tom Sadel. The family house shown at the beginning of the film is the same one used for the Douglas family home in the television sitcom, My Three Sons After They Moved to California in the Eighth Season in 1967. Frankie Avalon, another actor in the movie, and his wife have eight children Frank, Bert, Avalon, Tony, Dina, Laura, Joseph, Nicholas, Catherine, and Carla. OSC in Panic in Year Zero, Jean Hagen showcased her acting range, moving away from her known role on The Danny Thomas Show. The movie, released in 1962, explores a post-apocalyptic world, diving into the struggles of a character facing a shattered society. Similar to its predecessor Five, which came out in 1951, the film captivated audiences with its intense story and deep themes. In Earth vs. the Sci-Fi Filmmakers, Mary Mitchell gives insight into the film's importance. Her thoughts reveal the hard work and vision behind it. As viewers immerse themselves in the movie's world, they ponder human nature, survival, and society's vulnerability. Through strong performances and moving storytelling, the film still connects with audiences today, reminding us of humanity's strength in tough times. Its impact remains strong, showing the power of cinema to provoke thought and inspire change. Panic in Year Zero is a film from 1962 directed by Ray Milland. Roger Corman, reflecting on the movie, mentioned that despite the thrilling subject, technical challenges arose during production. Mullane, who both directed and acted in the film, faced difficulties managing both roles simultaneously, leading to setbacks like extended scenes and forgotten lines. 
Ray Mullane, known for his role in Heart to Heart in 1979, portrayed the same character across two episodes with a peculiar twist in naming between the first and second episodes. The movie features the Saddle Peak Lodge, an actual restaurant in Calabasas Ka, which remains open to this day. It serves as a tangible connection to the film's setting. Panic in Year Zero is a 1962 movie starring Ray Mullane. Mullane, known for his roles in several successful films, was paired with Paulette Goddard in four movies, such as Reap the Wild Wind and Kitty. In his autobiography, he praised Goddard for her wisdom and work ethic. Mullane also appeared in three Oscar Best Picture nominees, including The Lost Weekend, which won the award. Interestingly, during the filming of Reap the Wild Wind, the studio used hot curling irons on Mullane's naturally straight hair, which he believed contributed to his premature baldness, shifting him from a leading man to a supporting role earlier than expected. Despite this, Panic in Year Zero remains a notable addition to Mullane's filmography, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Originally released alongside Tales of Terror, this movie captured audiences' attention by showing how society falls apart after a nuclear disaster. It inspired the Steely Dan song King of the World on their album Countdown to Ecstasy, as confirmed by Donald Fagen. Based on two stories by Ward Moore, the script borrowed from Lot and Lot's Daughter, which were first published in the magazine of fantasy and science fiction. Panic in Year Zero tells the story of a family fighting to survive amid chaos and lawlessness. Its influence on both movies and music remains significant today, showing how its story and ideas still matter. This text was in Panic in Year Zero, Gene Hagen, who once shared an apartment with Patricia Neal in New York City during their Broadway days, becomes a crucial part of the story as she joins the Baldwin family. They see a scary mushroom cloud over the San Fernando Valley. Meanwhile, Ray Millane, known for his role in her jungle love, adds depth to the story as a man shaped by life's experiences, evident in the tattoo on his upper right arm, a skull tangled with a snake. The movie immerses viewers in the chaos and struggle for survival after a nuclear attack. The Baldwin family's journey reflects the human spirit's strength in tough times. As the story unfolds, audiences see the harsh realities of human nature when pushed to the edge. In this gripping story of strength and courage, Panic in Year Zero shows the true nature of humans, both heroic and brutal during crises. It reminds us of our ability to endure and overcome challenges even in the darkest times. The movie leaves a strong impact, making viewers think long after it's over.